Hello my people, I wanna do on bank combi TV. Hope na do well. I could do that. Sikui my yoba people. Utu tuwa mama ibo people. Ona kwa na na kudi my house. People on bank combi TV. Here is another good news coming to your ears. This one bank combi TV. Here is the news headline: Minimum wage. Labor insists on May thirty first deadline. Threatens another protest. Here is the news info. The National Labor Congress. NLC and TUC emphasize the non-negotiable nature of the demand of workers and urge the president, Bola Ametinambu governor, government, to prioritize the resolution of the issue in the interest of industrial peace. The organized labor comprising of the Nigerian Labor Congress, NLC, and Trade Union Congress, TUC, has reiterated it may 31st, 2024, ultimatum to the federal government to meet all of its demand, which include implementation of a new national minimum wage and reversal of the hike in electricity tariff. This follows a Monday emergency meeting in the National Executive Council, NEC, of the NLC and TUC in response to the pressing national issue affecting Nigerian workers. Among the issues discussed by the labor leaders was the persistent non-compliance with the 2019 National Minimum Wage Act by some state governments. In the resolution jointly signed by NLC President Joe Ajayo and TUC leader Festus Osifo, the labor union has directed their member in a number of states to mobilize for an industrial action in the event that the state government did not meet the demand of workers by May 23, 2024. The NEC acknowledged the ongoing negotiation before between the NLC and TUC, the organized private sector, OPS, and the federal government regarding the new national minimum wage. While appreciating the effort made so far, the NEC emphasizes the urgency of reaching a fair and equitable agreement that reflects the true value of Nigerian workers, contributions to the nation's development, and the current crisis of survival facing Nigeria as a result of government policies. The NEC affirms its commitment to ensuring that the interests and welfare of workers are adequately protected in the negotiation process. The NEC in session therefore reiterates the ultimatum issued by the NLC and TUC to the federal government, which expires on the last day of, the mo of this month. It emphasizes the non-negotiable nature of the demand put forth by Nigerian workers and urges the government to prioritize the resolution of this issue in the best interest of industrial peace. NEC in session further directed all state councils whose state governments are yet to fully implement the 30,000 Naira minimum national minimum wage and its consequential adjustment to issue immediately a joint two weeks ultimatum to the culpable state government to avert industrial action. Consequently, the NEC in session accordingly affirmed the NLC and TUC joint ultimatum earlier issued the Anabra State Government by its Anabra State Council. It therefore directed all affiliates and workers in the State Council to mobilize their members to ensure a successful action in the event that the state government fails to meet the demand of workers by Thursday, the 23rd of May 2024, the nations, the unions, so the sort. Labor workout of negotiation last week, labor union workout of minimum wage negotiation with the government following a 48,000 proposal by the federal government. The labor union described the offer as ridiculous. According to the NLC president, the government was not serious about negotiating with the labor on the new minimum wage. On his part, the TUC president said the 48,000 naira proposal does not make sense. According to Osifu, the least federal worker are already earning up to 77,000 naira, and proposing 48,000 naira at the moment is abysmal. 615,000 naira wages proposal. On April 14, the organized labor demanded 615,000 as the new minimum wage for workers to cope with the many economic realities and high cost of living in Nigeria. The labor union said the current minimum wage of 30,000 naira can no longer cater for the well-being of an average Nigerian workers, lamenting that not all governors are paying the current wage award. 
which, which expires in April 2024, five years after the Minimum Wage Act of 2019 was signed by former President Muhammadu Buhari, the act should be review, reviewed every five years to meet up with temporal economic demand of workers. NLC and TUC have at various times called on the administration of President Bola Tinumbu to ascend the onward review of wage award. Earlier in January, the federal government inaugurated a 37 man tripartite committee on national wage minimum wage, with a mandate to recommend a new national minimum wage for the country. My people, what you want to see about the issue of all these wage still in Nigeria now? The NLC, Niger National Labor Congress, and TUC propose that a government, government should pay 615,000 naira as minimum wage. And government send them message say it could pay 48,000 naira as minimum wage. Immediately the NLC get immediately they got the information they said is a beast man that the government is actually playing that the 48,000 naira is out of record and on this they made a protest and they give the government a, an ultimatum that there is going to be a deadline if the government did not pay this then there's going to be a great issue in the labor that is nobody is going to work again in nigeria my people wait you not see about this on bank Comet tv wait you not see eh? the movement of make the increase the money to six hundred and fifteen thousand. she nothing good i'll be waiting and see share the money too plenty i'll be the money no plenty looking at waiting with the face for this country now we'll be saying everything don't go she Government, if you pay this 615,000, where did they ask for? And government don't talk saying that 48,000, you go pay. I'll be waiting to go do, waiting to go, waiting to go see about this issue. And as we look on, NSC things say that they fight for everybody. Hey, my people, don't forget to put your comments down, like and share. See you in our next update on Bangkok TV.